Wow, a big night for one local high school football team. Central Catholic playing for the state championship in Canton. We have live coverage tonight. Chase Bachman went to the, the watch party for the team and spoke with fans. Let's start first with Jordan Strack, who's live in Canton with a recap for us. Jordan, what a night. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. We are over at the Pro Football Hall of Fame Stadium here in Canton, where Central Catholic has once again gotten it done. Remember all the way back to 2005, that team with Dane Sonsenbacher, they won a state championship just down the road in Maslin. You fast forward to now and they have now done it for a fourth time since Greg Dempsey has taken over as the head coach and that puts him certainly in rarefied air here in the state of Ohio as one of the elite, elite head coaches in this sport. Let's show you some of the highlights from tonight. This Irish team knew they were going to have their hands full. Hoban has Mr. Football in the state of Ohio and he did not disappoint. Their running back had over 350 yards yards rushing in the game but that Irish defense came up when they absolutely had to and made some big plays and the offense was really good. Jaria Hall catching a touchdown pass to make it a 28 to 7 ball game just before the half and Central Catholic would hold on late in this ball game. Their defense actually got it done when it really counted. They made a fourth down stop near midfield with uh, just over five minutes left to go and then they were able to get enough first downs and then hold on and get a late interception to get the win. It is the fourth state championship as I mentioned since Greg Dempsey has taken over and the Irish get it done. Coming up a little bit later in sports, we will have much more. We'll have more highlights and we will also hear from the team as they celebrate here in Canton. Jordan, that is so great. Thank you. Now, not everybody made the trip to Canton for the game, but there were still plenty of Central Catholic fans showing their support tonight. That's right. Our Chase Bachman is live at Nick and Jimmy's in West Toledo. So, Chase, what's the energy like out there? Tell us, tell us. Tatiana, Dan, the energy was incredible all night. Central Catholic gets the state title over Hoban in epic fashion, and these fans were here every step of the way. More than 100 of the Irish faithful showed up to support their team from afar. And you're going to participate as much as you can, whether it's coming to Nick and Jimmy's to watch the football game or going to the game out on Cherry Street, you know, in the shadows of the big building. It's amazing. We talked with people from all different graduating classes from the last few years to the 80s all the way back to the 50s. Central Catholic is its people. We're one. We're family and it shows right here. We asked them how they thought this game would go. They thought it would be a classic back and forth like most title games go. And that was exactly what they got. In the end, Central Catholic got the victory. They both, deserve we're it. We're both mad we're not there, but that's okay. We're here. This is a great, good crowd, good, good energy, and we're having fun. The Irish claim their fifth state title, and there are generations of fans celebrating this championship. And I'm just so excited for these kids. I'm excited for this coaching staff, everybody at Central Catholic. I mean, I'm just, bring it home, boys. Just bring it home. And as we've said many times before, fourth state title for Greg Dempsey, Central Catholic proving themselves to be one of the best teams in the state of Ohio. And tonight they are bringing home a state championship trophy. Reporting live in West Toledo, Chase Bachman, WTOL 11.